This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV, and we are delighted to present Leon Davo en France encore, our fifth focused exhibition from the estate of the artist. In the past, we focused on Leon Davo's drawings, on his pastels, on his floral paintings, and on some of his most iconic tonal paintings. This exhibition focuses on the last 17 years of Davo's career, from 1937 to 1954. The 1930s, especially the late 1930s, were in some sense a renaissance for him. His return to the spotlight as an exhibiting painter began in 1931, though, with a major sale from his solo exhibition at Ferragil Gallery. It accelerated in 1933 with a solo exhibition at the famous Knoedler Gallery. That show made headlines. The painter of misty, metaphysical marines had been painting flowers in secret for 30 years. The very next year, Dabo was made an associate at the National Academy and a chevalier in the French Legion of Honor. In September of 1937, Leon Dabo moved back to Paris with his second wife, Stephanie Ophenthal Dabo. They took a space at 43 Rue Boissonade. He was in France, again. It was an encore. Dabo was 73 years old, but the old dog had several new tricks yet to learn. Dernier Rose, in our current exhibition, was likely painted that first year. That west by northwest light, which could be seen coming through those giant windows on the third floor, permeates the canvas. Early the next year, he made it out to paint the Normandy coast. It's likely the last time anyone associated that place with serenity. And then... And then his work began to shift, quite dramatically. He began to use a palette knife. His brush got wider. He found the color yellow and so many other colors, not as accents in his floral, but as a major chromatic theme. Color, light, and a new reverence for texture had entered his work. By the time the Nazis occupied Paris, Dabo was nearly 76 years old. Although the U.S. and Germany were not yet at war, he had ample reason for fear. He had been a captain in the U.S. Army from the Intelligence Division in World War I, and his wife, Stephanie, was Jewish. He had to flee through Portugal with 300 works of his own, his younger wife, and a number of works by his friends, Fernand Leger and Walter Sickert. When he returned to New York, Ferragil gave him another solo exhibition called When I Last Saw France. It was the last the world saw of him, too, until 1951, when the Musée Granet invited him back to France to show in an exhibition of Provençal landscapes that related to the career of Cézanne. Many of the paintings in this exhibition were painted in the last four years of his time behind the easel, between 1951 and 1954. He would have been 87 to 90 years old. If his early famous works were devoted to Chopin's nocturnes, his latest were color fantasies, like Chopin's Fantasy Impromptu. They were also odes to French masters, like Monet and Cezanne, with a tip of the hat to Van Gogh, and titles that referenced Mont Saint Victoire, Aïs en Provence, and Saint Tropez. Dabo was born in France, he trained in France, he served in France during the Great War. Finally, it seems he could never quite leave the place. He so loved America that he made his career here and served his country, but France was never too far from his thoughts. We want to invite you to come in and see these terrifically romantic French Provençal landscapes in the months of February and March. The exhibition has been mounted to coincide with the Santa Barbara Museum of Art's Vincent Van Gogh exhibition, Through Vincent's Eyes. Finally, a hardbound book on Dabo's late French paintings is now in production. The exhibition, Leon Dabo en France encore, will run through March 28th. Please, come see it.